ladies, it's your girl at Christina, and today we are checking out my terrible mouth accident by Let Me Explain Studios. I'm so sorry. Uh, that time I royally messed up my teeth when I was three years old. Boo boo, what happened? Well, we're about to find out. We're gonna find out right now. But terrible mouth accident, it's like there are areas that I feel like when you hit these areas, that the pain is just crazy. The mouth is one of them for me. Definitely, definitely the mouth. Um, like head stuff kind of sticks with me and it's like really painful. I, I want to say my toes, but I have stubbed my toes so many times in the last couple of years that I've broken nails right off my toes. So I, I kind of feel like I've gotten a little used to that pain, <laughs> sadly enough. So I stub and I feel the pain and then it goes away. Cause it's like, all right, this is normal. Surprise, you still have toes. That's kind of the vibe. That's what my husband tells me all the time. But um, so my face, so I, I can imagine them, you hitting your mouth and that being, or doing whatever is going to happen to her mouth and that being super painful. And I'm really sorry that this happened for to her. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Is it the Tooth Fairy calling? This is Pablo. Leave a message. Who's Pablo? Oh, hey, hey, Pablo, it's Henry. Listen, mm. I'm kind of having one of those existential crises right now, and I could oh. really use a legitimizing second opinion here. Um, oh, wow. How are we still in a job? If no one in this timeline has a mouth, then why exactly oh. is there a need for two fairies? Okay, and, I get and it. And also, doesn't this make it very difficult mouth, to tackle mouths. any mouth-related topics in this world? I just don't know. It just feels like a big oversight on the part of the creator. This is funny. Anyways, call me back. Please. Oh, and is this one gonna have mouths in it? Since, oh, okay. Hello, That's my creepy. geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my Hello. little oodle lollies, Rebecca Parham here. Hello. You've read the title, you know what we're talking about, and I yes. bet you're all saying to yourself, oh, Becca's got herself in a real pickle now. How's she gonna tell a story about her mouth when she doesn't have one? <laughs> oh, is it, are you gonna, Shush. Oh, chill wow. out, I got this. Okay. What's gonna happen? There you go, problem solved. <laughs> Anytime I gotta show you a mouth, it's post-its to the rescue. I wow. love it. Oh, All right, that's enough of super that. cute. Let's move on. Ginger Bale is super cute. Injuries, accidents, life-altering mm. wounds that scar us physically and emotionally. Or forever. Yeah, they make great stories, don't they? Mm -hmm. And don't we just love telling them? Dude, you yes. want to see my scar? Got attacked by a mountain lion. Fought it off with my bare hands. Okay. That's his appendectomy scar. Thank Mom! you. Mom! Honestly, I've been rather Talk fortunate. I haven't injured with my myself bare hands. too many Ginger, times. you die. I mean, my dad accidentally pulled my arm out of my socket when I was six. Oh I got my hit gosh. in the face softball when I was in middle school and had Yikes. a shiner for a week. Aww. I slipped in water in high school and tore cartilage in my knee. Oh a girl in gosh. theater dropped a heavy set piece on my foot, and I had oh. to do the rest of the shows with only one shoe on. Oh I broke no. my toe, banging it on a platform trying to get off stage. Yikes! You know, maybe I'm more accident prone than I thought. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much football helmets cost. But my <laughs> big injury story that I always tell people happened when I was very young. Challenger coaching. My teeth. I oh, personally so don't cute. remember it at all, but my sister says she has a traumatizingly clear memory of it. Oh, that, okay. and of course, my parents were there for it. Actual also traumatized. Actual warning here, this story might get just a wee bit graphic, because, really? you know me, I've never been averse to a little bit of blood. Okay. Or a gallon or two. Oh! For the brave souls still watching, let's okay. get this show on the road. All right. When I was about three years old, Dad wanted to have Aww. a play fort built in the backyard for me and my sister. He That's actually... He over a family friend who happened to be a carpenter so they could drop some plans and discuss how big oh, it they should like, be and where to put it. Mom that is so it. cool that they're like, hey, we're just going to create it and everything. Not like, you can buy the sets and just put it together, but they were like, create it. Oh, crap, my husband's going to do it. He's going to see this video and he's going to be like, I'm going to do this. And I'm kind of like, can we just get one and just put it together? <laughs> like, do we have to wait for it? I mean, he's a great carpenter. It's just that it takes time. And I'm like, I would just rather just buy one, put it together. It would be great. But the time, so to keep an eye on me and my sister, Dad let us run around the backyard while he and the carpenter uh -huh. talked things over. So okay. in our backyard, we had a porch. And by the law of the South, if y'all mm -hmm. have a porch, you got to have a porch swing. Which we did, though it wasn't a very oh. good one. Dad was keeping a watchful eye on us, but as any swing. parent will tell you, the worst things always happen when you turn your back for just a moment. It and when Dad wasn't looking. <laughs> I love the eyes because the baby exploding thing didn't, um, you know, that did nothing for me due to the fact that the statement is so freaking true. And you know what? It shall happen while you're looking. But it just only takes a second. And like everything, like they can be so fast and you're like, they're crawling. And as you're watching, all of a sudden launch into something or bam into something. And 
That's also something that people... I should make a list of things that people don't truly explain before you have a baby. And it's, like, not just the other stuff, like, feeding and stuff. There's a, there's other all this other stuff that I wish people said. So I could be more prepared, but, uh, you know, whatever. I will do that for you guys, for people who want to have... Ba- who are old enough to have... Ba- okay, we're not gonna... We're just gonna press play. I managed to climb up on this porch swing. I stood up on it, and I guess in my three-year-old mind, I thought I was on one of those playground spring horses, so I began okay. rocking it back and forth. Oh, and apparently, course. I was not holding back. Your girl of was chasing course. bandits in the Wild West somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Now, remember oh how I goodness. said this wasn't a very good porch swing? Well, right. good porch swings are designed so they can't flip over. Okay. But this one, well... <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, she's gonna face plant. She's gonna face plant. She's gonna face plant. Oh my gosh. Ah! Dad heard my screams and he ran over in a panic. Oh my goodness. He lifted me up off the ground and there was oh. nothing but blood. I oh. had bitten through my top lip, which left this handsome little scar later, oh. and the force of the fall had pushed my front teeth back and up oh. into my head. Oh. Without a moment to lose, Dad grabbed me and Rachel, oh. threw us into the back of the car, and sped off to the hospital. Oh my Rachel goodness. sat next to me the whole ride, holding my head back so oh. I wouldn't bleed on everything. Oh my gosh. And being only five years old herself, naturally she was freaking out, and yeah. Dad was even more distraught, of feeling course. like the worst father in the world. You're not, Google. Quietly panicked to himself. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, he heard from the back seat. I will be so pissed right now and laughing at the same well, time. I guess that's what you call more rebound than a kickball. Oh, so no, I don't think Dad appreciated the musical number. No. When we got to the hospital, no. the doctors ended up having the to push headbutt. my teeth back into their original position. Oh, my but gosh. these teeth were pretty much destroyed. Oh, uh, when no. Mom showed up to the hospital, she said Dad was covered in blood and oh, looked like no. that he'd lost a fight with an angry cat. Ah, oh, oh, poor Dad. Gosh. There wasn't anything more that the doctors oh, could do in the hospital, son. but we still had to wait two weeks for me to heal before I could see a dentist. Oh, wow. And what wow. the dentist ended up having to do was give my what? front two teeth a root canal and then oh. fill it with a compound so it would stay in my head until my permanent teeth were ready to come in. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm actually really glad that I don't remember any of this. Yes. I'm already insane in the membrane enough as it is. Oh my goodness. Who knows how bad I'd be today if I had to carry around this childhood trauma with me. The whole ordeal had basically killed my front two teeth. Yikes. And they turned yellow. Also, the next tooth over needed a half metal crown on the back of it. And given that teeth are translucent, that made the tooth look green. So yeah, for the next few years of my childhood, I was walking around with yellow and green teeth. Just look at this jacked up mouth of mine. I think I had these teeth until I was about six or seven. And as you can imagine, such a blow to the face not only messed up my baby teeth. First off, first off, freaking adorable. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> this is so freaking adorable. Oh my goodness. So cute. So cute. Baby teeth, but my permanent teeth came in wonky as well. In Almost fact, famous. when I went to the orthodontist to get braces in middle school, she discovered I, love the I had on four all the permanent teeth that were supposed to come in, but were stuck up in my gums. Oh no. I had to get teeth removed so they could come in. Yikes. My mouth was a I train wreck. Now. Thankfully, I think I've finally got these chompers under control. That's they good. They ain't perfect, but That's who good. could blame them after going through such misery? They went it's through okay, teeth, a lot. It's okay, Good enough. That's why I never animate you. Oh, dear. For those dear. who are wondering, yes, my dad did eventually get that play fort built. That's I good. I thought he'd That's think good. twice about letting his clumsy daughter up in high places, but... Eh, none of the Param children ever fell out of that fort. I okay, guess I good. set a that's pretty good. good example of what not to wow. do. You hear wow. that, Mom? Your daughter's a trailblazer. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um. Wow. That, I, I didn't know how bad, because it says terrible, but a lot of the times when people, you know, when you see these story time animations and they're like horrible, terrible, or whatever, a lot of the times, it's not as bad as you thought it was gonna be. Um, they just use those words to bring people in to see the video, which isn't a bad thing. Having creative titles is not a bad thing. It's not clickbait to have a creative title. However, she was not, uh, that was not, a, she was trying to set you up for what really happened. Like it was an, a legit terrible mouth accident. Actually, I think she, she should put horrible mouth 
horribly terrible mouth accident or something. I I I, I feel like we kind of undersold here on the bat. Uh, oh my goodness, I would freak out. Okay, as uh, her father play, was very calm and freaking out internally, and I know what that's like. But to see that, I, I would have there would have been tears as I'm doing everything, as I'm grabbing and uh, like putting people in the car. I, 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 it would just been it would have been. I, I could not even fathom. Your dad is a goat. Greatest ever do it because like, bruh, it like, yo, I could not, I, I could. I could, but I'm glad. <sighs> She's young. She's gonna play around. She's gonna hurt herself. It's gonna happen. Hopefully not to this degree. That's what I pray. She's gonna, we, we all kids, I've injured myself. It all ha it happens, but hopefully not to this degree. That's what I pray. That's all I want. God, please just not to this degree. Um, wow. Shake your dad's hand, hug him, say, I love you, you know, and say thank you for being a great dad because, bruh, bruh. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What'd you think of the freaking, uh, like, were you traumatized too? <laughs> Did it traumatize you? Because I felt a little traumatized. I'm not gonna let porch swings. Now I'm gonna keep my baby away from porch swings. Let me know your thoughts. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Rebecca, Eddie, and Megan. If you like this video, hit the like, uh, like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.